Okay, I've got a slight change I want to show you. Really, it's not a change, it's an addition. And I think you'll be happy with seeing it. During the years when I played with this and everything, I finally sat down and thought about it. And uh, at the time, I st well, in fact, I still don't, that none of them have ever responded again. But I had contact with a couple of physicists, and I wondered, well, how is this thing really working with the capacitive coupling to LEDs or whatever? And what I, what I really came up with was, okay, we got a PN junction, and we got a sine wave via capacity hitting both junctions equally. So I couldn't figure out if it was holes or electrons or exactly what was doing the stimulation in the junction. Anyway, I still haven't, but I am definitely utilizing it, and it became improved over the time. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is a slight addition. Let me tune this up here so that... Let me turn it a little sideways so the camera don't go ape on me. Okay, you can see this right here. I go down that way, go down that way. There's my peak. I'm going to go ahead and put this thing on here. You see the increase? There we go. We re-peaked it. We now have twice the light output. Why is that? Well... Let me show you what we do. We've got the current loop here. And you say, okay, which, which of the cycles, part of the cycle, is affecting the loop? The positive or the negative cycle? And so I'm telling myself, well, geez, it, it's obviously one, right? So why don't we take and put a diode in there bring it back in and make it look similar to an AV plug, although not the same, but similar to one, and see if we can't recover the other cycle. So basically, here's what I have. If you see that, we have the... Let me turn this off for just a second, because that light seems to be panicking the camera. Okay, what we have here is a, the same circuit that I've shown, the panel, the two external diodes, and now what I've done to increase the brightness by twice, because now we're using both cycles, is I add another diode from the lead that goes to the heat sink in this direction, with the plus going to the coil, back into the center of these two diodes. That's merely all that I've done, is add one diode to it. Let me go ahead and bring it up one more time. Let me go ahead and tune it over here to where it's maximum. And now we'll take this and hook it up, and you saw a little brightness, but it changed the frequency. So I'm going to go ahead and retune it. And there we have the increased light. So by adding another diode to it, inexpensive diode, you can still get more light out of it. I kind of think this is probably the end of how much light we'll get, though, without a greater input energy, but... Uh, I think it's significant to know that you can take what you're currently seeing and obtain more from it by adding one diode. Thanks for watching.